Right, so we're moving um, into the third dimension yeah. by looking at yeah, hooray, the dimensions we live in. Okay. By looking, starting out with these shapes, prism. Now, you seven. You seven. Yes, turn is that time. Just wait for everyone to be ready. I'm going to give you a jam-packed definition here. And so because it's so dense, I want to make sure you get all the pieces. I'll give you the sentence and then we'll explain it bit by bit. Okay. So, for start, a prism is, get ready, a 3D shape with, now this is important, with cross-sections, I can fit it down here, cross-sections, that are last last part here uniform polygons. A prism. I'll, I'll I'll repeat it and then I'll talk you through it. A prism is a three D shape with cross sections that are uniform polygons. Okay, there's a lot of words there. It's very densely packed. Let's let's unfold. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to skip this. I'll come back to this word in a second. Tell you where it comes from. A 3D shape, right? That means, of course, it's got uh, length and it's got width. What else would it have? Area. Volume. Okay, now both of these are like this way and then this way. If I combine everything together, I will get volume. What's the third thing I must combine with it to get volume? Right. Right. Height, very good. So it's like kind of flat on the ground and then if I add height in, Combine them all together will give me volume. Okay, how much space this takes in all directions. Okay, next thing we want to unpack. Cross sections, right? So section just means cutting something up, right? Um, so for example, you might know um, when pregnant mothers are giving birth, they have a natural birth, or they have what we call a cesarean section. So it's, it's cutting, okay? Sorry? Yeah, because it's the word yeah. sections, okay? You might say, oh, my assignment has three sections in it. Right? All that means is you can cut it into three pieces. That's all it's about. What do you think this word cross adds to it? Mm, what do you reckon, Fatima? Hold on, I didn't hear you because some people being really loud. Could you repeat it? That's right. I still can't hear you, unfortunately. Which is really disappointing because I'd love to be able to hear someone's contribution to the class. Third time lucky, can we try again? Okay, what do you mean by the word intercept? Okay, so this is a bit tricky, this part. For now, I'm just going to take the same word and I'm going to say sections is cutting, right? Cross, I'm going to take the same word and just write it as across, right? This will be a lot easier with pictures, so I'll get to that in a second. Okay, now still got two more words, three more words to unpack. Uniform, you guys wear uniforms. What does uniform mean? Mean. Nikhil? All the same. Yeah, fantastic. All the same. Another word you will, or another pair of words that you'll see in here. Can someone give me like an, a synonym for uniform? All the same. Rinesh? Same. Same is fine. Yeah, same is fine. Uh, how about if you've got two twins and they look identical. exactly the same, we call them identical twins? Or a more <laughs> mathsy sort of word which you've seen before and we'll meet again uh, is the word congruent or congruent. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Okay? I think you can do it both ways. All of these, uniform, identical, congruent, they mean the same thing, that they're the same. Okay. Last one. Polygons. Polygons? What's a polygon? Not to be confused with polygon, but anyway. Yeah. Um, how do you, Frank, what do you reckon? Oh, no, I was just going to say polygon Z, polygon 2, polygon. Okay, here's my definition. You know how we had a 3D shape up here? That's the prism. All polygons, well, I should say no polygons are 3D shapes because polygons are 2D, right? So it's a 2D shape, but in addition to that, right? for example, a circle, we love circles, but circles are not polygons. Why not? What is it about polygons that makes a circle not one? The polygons have sides. Yeah, um, it's a 2D shape with, another way of saying sides is straight edges, right? And a circle does not have straight edges. Okay, lovely. Now, the last word is to unpack prism, but I'll come back to that after I show you some examples. So, with the help of some other people, I've made some prisms for you. So, here we go. Here's a prism. Okay. Now, just think about how this fits into this. Okay. Is it 3D? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, length, width, height, thumbs up. Okay. Cross sections, if I were to take this shape, right, and cut it across like this, okay, I can cut it across and I can cut it across again and I can cut it across again and whatever I get, all of these guys are, have a look, what are they? 3D shapes. They are, these are all uniform polygons, you get it, okay, does that make sense? Now we name prisms according to what kind of polygon you get when you take a cross section, when you cut it across, right? So these guys are, what are these guys? These guys are squares, or could call it a square prism, Cubes. if you like. Um, it's worth noting, let me put this back together. It's worth noting, you can see I've cut it across this way so I get all these squares, right? This particular shape I could cut a few different ways, right? How else could I cut it? Um, How else could I cut it? What do you reckon, Aaron? Down the middle. Okay, so I could cut it like, when you say down the middle, which way do you want me to cut it down the middle? Um, in the middle. This way? Yeah. This way? Uh, <laughs> Where would you like to put my hand? Okay. okay, I could go horizontal, right? Now, have a look for a second. Okay, I can't do it because my shape is not put together this way. But if I cut this one out here, right, just imagine me taking that and slicing off the front, okay? What will be left behind? What's going to be left behind this shape? It's going to be exactly the same, isn't it? You're going to get pink, orange, brown, yellow, green. You're still going to get uniform polygons. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. Now this is pretty boring. It's pretty boring. I brought some more interesting polygons with me. Okay. Are we uh, use them still? Prisms, I should say. Are we going to use them? Uh, a little bit, maybe. If you're good. Um, Table. This is still a pol. Uh, sorry, this is still a prism. How do I know it's still a prism? Three. Three. Okay. It's still three D. If I take a cross section, whoops, <laughs> not that cross section. If I take a cross section like this, what do I need my cross section to be? Same. Exactly the same all the way along, right? And you can see it is. Uh, how about how about this guy? Hold on, let me put this one back together. What do you think? Yes. Prism? Yes. Yeah? Uh, it looks weird. It looks weird because of the shape that I put together. But is this a polygon? Yeah. Polygon. It is. Yes. All the edges are straight, and they're all the same. One last one. Here we go. No, 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 that's a pyramid. But, but, well, yeah, it's a pyramid, but look, all the cross sections are squares, aren't they? Aren't they? Ah, so they are all squares, but they're different sizes, aren't they? So they are not identical, they're not congruent, right? So this is not a prism, it's a pyramid. Okay? All right. So you know what prisms are now. Last bit, I said I'd come back to this word prism actually comes from a word that means, you might want to write this down. When you take an, option, op an object, rather, and you saw it into pieces, it comes from the, the word to saw. Why do you think they would have used that as our word for prism? Yeah, Fatima, what do you think? Yeah, no, Charlie, you got an idea? Because um, like you were showing us, when you take it off, it's like, it will fit in like perfectly. Yeah, again. yeah, very good. So this action of taking it off, like if you had, say, a tree, right? You'd have to saw across here, and that would give you your cross-sections. Okay, does that make sense? 